The rain slider wheel allows you to display a beautiful user-friendly bar slider at the front end of the form where users can select a value from the provided data by dragging the handle. So in the field option, you can change the label, add meta key, description and also enable the tooltip for the field. Next, you will also be able to set the step that the sliding handle will take when your users will use the slider in the front end. Further, you can also set the minimum and the maximum value of the slider in here. Now under the advanced option, you can see a lot of options for customization. So let's go through it one by one. First, we have the skin option. This option can be used to select the sliding handle type. You can choose from flat, big, modern, sharp, round and square. Next one is slider handle color. This option lets you select the color for the slider handle. Moving on, we have slider highlight color. This option lets you select the color for the drag slider track. This color will be shown in the track from the starting point to the current portion of the slider handle. And lastly, we have slider track color. So this option lets you select the color of the entire track from starting to ending on which the handle will slide. Now, under the advanced option, there are more options like show grid for the slider. So if you enable this option, you'll be shown a grid of your minimum and maximum value in the front end. Next one is show slider prefix and postfix. So after you enable this option, you'll be able to show the prefix and postfix on top of starting and the ending points. So for example, we have used go as the prefix and stop as the postfix on the slider, which looks like this on the front end. Next one is show slider input. Enabling or disabling this option will let you show or hide the input box at the end of the slider. And similarly, you can make another changes as per your requirement in the field option.